Mm. In this video, we're going to look at using the pickaxe microcontrollers. I'm starting from the Revisomatic website and scrolling down to pickaxe. Step one is to download the drivers. And there's a download page. And the Windows drivers are available. Um, they're installed in more or less the normal way. Uh, just run the install program. I had a bit of trouble doing that. Uh, it took three attempts before they finally took um, various tips. Um, it's, it's, uh, don't plug in the cable, install the drivers, restart the computer, then plug in the cable. And after you've done all that, maybe you need to read the instructions as well. Um, I did finally get them working. Then download the programming editor. It's a free download and a very handy piece of kit. Once you've got that, you can run it. And if all is well, you will see a COM port here. And that's the one you use to program the chip. You need to select the correct chip type. And uh, these instructions are written for the pickaxe 08 M2 chip. And we're flowchart programming it. And let's start a new flowchart to show how that works. So, new flowchart. And the first step is to program which pins are input and which pins are outputs. Now, I want pin 4 to be an output, so you can toggle that to output. And we'll click OK, and that will do the rest we don't care about. Let's move that. And I want an output and double click the box and I want to turn the output on and I want a time delay that's a wait we'll wait half a second and I want another output this time I want to turn off pin 4 another time delay Wait half a second. We'll check that one. So I'm turning I'm turning C4 to 1, turn, turning it on. And check that one, turning C4 to naught. Whoops, there we go. Just double checking that. And I want this to run as a loop, running forever. So we need to draw some lines. And... Uh, I'm drawing more or less as if it was a paint program. Save that. File, save, save as. I'll overwrite that one because it's basically the same program as that I tried earlier. And then program the chip. And down in the bottom right, you should see this progress indicator. It downloads the program. I've got a message box that says pass, programmed, blah, 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 successfully. And my LED is flashing on and off. On, off, on, off. Isn't that good? So that was quite quick and painless. Mm.